phone. Wall mount. Asda. Create your own pizza. Looks a bit beleaguered. I'm going to tickle it up a bit. And then we'll see how it looks. Goodbye my lover. Goodbye my friend. There you go. We'll put that in there. Well, I'm saying nothing. See you on the other side. And here it is. About to be divvied up. The Guinness. Cheers, Rob. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hey, welcome back. Hey, another Wednesday, another shave. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, I hope we've got a good one lined up for you today. It's snowing out there again. It started snowing about an hour ago and it's coming down like you would not believe. But we're all nice and toasty in Johnsville. I got a cup of tea. Cheers to you all. And what have we got today? Check this out. Anybody know what that is? No, it's not a bird biscuit. Oh my word, that is just delicious. That is. It was gifted to me by my daughter. Well, you go. Sarah Nelson's world famous gingerbread. Grasmere gingerbread. Established in 1854. And it's not like the gingerbread man you get from Greg's. This is next. This is absolutely beautiful stuff. As a matter of fact, she was asking me from Grasmere, Dad, do you want me to bring some gingerbread? And I was thinking of gingerbread from Greg's, the little gingerbread men from the bakers. And I said, no, don't. But she brought me that back and it's absolutely delicious. Cheers, everybody. Okay, here we go. Let's have a rundown of this stuff. Brush we're going to be using today. My 26 millimeter. Let's have a look, see if we can see it now. Badlands shaving. Shaving brush, we'll put that there. In the official John Shea Super Soaker. How's everybody doing? Um, okay, we're gonna balm up with this, just a generic balm, men balm. The splash, here it is. Cella, aloe vera. Now they opened that, I actually found a soap sample, so I may do at some point in the future, may do that and buy the balm and only do the matching balm to that. Um, can't ever remember using this. Oh, but it smells lovely and fresh. Uh, and the razor, come on, show you the razor today. There you go, Russian razor, Iskra. It's a copy of a Czechoslovakian razor. It's a Russian clone of a Czechoslovakian razor. There you go, that's what it looks like out of the packaging. And what you do is you turn that, you turn that, and the doors open, there you go. And you drop your blade in there. The blade we're going to be using today is a Muller blade. Muller. Now, I worked with a German man called Sven. And I, I took that a Muller razor. And, and I said to him, Sven, how do you pronounce that? And he said, it's Muller. It's Muller. Muller. In fact, Muller. So we'll, we'll say Muller. Muller. So that's how we'll pronounce it. Or Muller. There you go. These blades were very kindly gifted to me by Steve D. Thank you, Steve. Seen them about, never used them. Look at this. No glue. That's interesting. There you go. Reza Coulter. Let's have a look. See, see it says Muller Reza Coulter on there. There you go. And we'll drop that in there. Nice, clean looking blade. And we'll close those doors. Snapshot, and we'll get that in there next to the brush. That brings me very nicely on to the soap that we're going to be using today. Here it is. I peeled this label off the back. I bought it. It's Muller shaving soap. Let's get the old tablet out and I'll show you. There you go. If you go on Muller's website, you get three of them for £23. I paid £13 for this off Amazon, absolutely gutted. I know there are sites out there selling it at nine, but when you work out the postage, it works out at about £13 anyway. 
it came, it was absolutely tiny, guys, wrapped in paper, that's why I put, but anyway, it says, uh, Muller Shave Care Shaving Soap um, Aloe Vera. Since the 18th century, shaving soaps have established themselves as essential care products for wet shaving. Rich yet light, the Muller Shaving Soap develops a lightly scented and nurturing lather. Fragrance using the leaves of the aloe vera plant, this shaving soap gently soothes and refreshes the skin. A soft and caring soap, this fragrance contains fine notes of oak moss and mint. Okay, now there it is. I grated it in and pressed it in there. It, I'm trying to find something that I can. It just it came in just like a little pebble, guys. It, it wrapped in paper, big, like greaseproof paper. It, it was weird, but I grated it into that. Yeah, I get the oak moss. I get aloe vera. I don't get any mint. Now, I used to deliver paints, wall coverings, for a living. <clears throat> and um, if you wanted a white to be really bright, you had to add black to it, believe it or not. Like concentrated black to get the white to pop. Um, I'm thinking the mint with this is maybe making the oak moss and the aloe vera pop because they do pop quite strong. And maybe that's what that's done. But that's uh we're gonna lather up with that. He says it's very rich, very um moisturizing, and a great lather. So cheers to you all. I just I'm not I'm not longing from work at all, guys. And I thought if I sit down, <sighs> gonna be, let's just get it done. That that was uh, that was my philosophy. So we'll wet the face. Oh, and then we'll see if we can uh, what we can whip up with this. They talk a good talk, but does it walk? A good walk. Really, I should have put it in a slightly bigger. Well, hey, look at this one. Going to put it in a slightly bigger pot, but what we'll do is we'll uh, yeah. Oh. We'll see. Uh, had I been in a shop and picked this up, I wouldn't have bought it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have bought it. It was tiny. Like I said, when I, I was going to send it back, but I thought, well, no. And then I was going to. After I grated it, I thought, well, you should have left it really. You should have left it in the pebble format so they could see. But to be fair, it, it, I am partially responsible. But because when I went back and looked at the ad, it did say 65 grams, uh, 60 is about 2 ounces or something. I don't know in the great big scheme of things, it might not be that bad, but when it came and I saw it, it was just, it was little soap for uh, quite a lot of money. Let's see what we do now. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not the slickest salt, you know, guys. It's slick, the slickness there. But it isn't the slickest salt. So let's crack on. Have a do. Oh, look at this. Gonna get the lines right because I'm going for a haircut. Uh, maybe this week. Maybe, yeah. This, um, it's a good little novelty razor, this. It does okay. It's good to have just for variety, isn't it? So please let me know how you've all been doing. What did you think of the intro to this? I've just remembered now that I've got I've got an intro. Um, do you remember when I, I said my, do a Saturday shave? And I showed you my little intro and making a cup of tea. Somebody said you should do one, Rob. You should do one with pizza and beer. This was luck would have it. I was having pizza and beer Saturday night. So I thought, I shall film it and put it on the start of my video. Because <laughs> quite a few people have said to me, do you know what, I quite like those little intros. It's just something different, isn't it? There you go. It's razor. It's mild, yet surprisingly efficient. 
um, this soap. I doubt very much whether I'll use it again. I've got to be honest with you guys. £14. Like I said, I know some places are selling it for eight. But with postage. Um, I've got to be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this again. I don't think I'll use this again. I will probably. To be honest. I will probably. Give this to Samantha. To share my legs with when I've finished it. It's a good sort, but I think Do you know what? Just wait there. There you go. I went and got that. Palm olive shave stick. Now I thought that was 65 grams. It isn't. It's 50 grams. But I remember before they stopped making palm olive. I, when I had my shaving channel, uh, they were in our local supermarket for 50 pence, which is about 65 cents. Yeah. So, that's 50 pence for 50 grams. That's 14 pounds for 65 grams. I mean, I personally just do not think it's worth it. I mean, really, for the price of that one little pebble thing, you could get, what, 28? You get 28 of those for the price of just one. So, um, I know there's probably better ingredients in it and so on. Oh, what have I just done? Ooh. Do you know what that that actually felt like a slice right right down to the bone but anyway yeah i'll we'll have to wonder what that was that blade's okay though a nice smooth blade nice smooth shape yeah yeah it's okay it's up let's get revisit the puck hmm it's nice enough but not for the money. You know, 65, what's that? 65 grams. I think, I'm not entirely sure, I think it's around about two ounces. Two ounces for 14 pounds. Seven pound an ounce. What's what's P A A C K six? About five pound an ounce. So, but yeah, this razor's light. It's plastic. It's doing okay. Uh, it's doing. It's the shaving soap's doing its job, and that's a nice blade too. So thank you, Steve. I'd seen those blades, those Mueller blades, uh, I'd seen them about and I wanted to get them but I think it was, I don't know if it was a, like the palm olive effect, they were, I think they are relatively rare, if you know anywhere that sells them please let me know in the comments. I think they are relatively rare and I think because of that there's something like the ones I see was something like ten pounds a pack you know for a tough so I think that's why I've never got them but then Steve sent me some so thank you Steve okay here we go lather mittens somebody said to me why do you do lather mittens well, here you go, you get the soap uh, and just gently feel. Yeah, that's not the closest of shave, guys. We'll have a closer look in a minute, but we've got some at the usual suspects. I think there's a reason. I think I bought that. I think I bought that razor because it was unusual and it was a novelty, but 
I think there's a reason. I don't use it. I can see the snow coming down. So let me know what your razor, uh, your razor. Let me know what your shave is. Let me know what you think of the stuff. I used in today's shave. Let me know if you've used this soap. Um, let me know if you've used those blades. And let me know if you do know, if you know of anywhere that's selling them. I'd be interested to see. They are a nice blade. Nice smooth blade. And that's how we shave. What happens is when I go and sit in there now in about 15 minutes, the hairs actually sink back in below the hairline and you get a closer shave than you had initially thought of. But well, let's have a look. Oh, yeah? We got a shave, didn't we? We did okay. Not the best, not job interview standard. But it's certainly passable, isn't it? It's certainly passable. It tidies you up, doesn't it? And then we're going to balm up with this lovely cella aloe vera. Oh, hello, Vera. How are you? I'm okay, John. How are you? There you go. <laughs> oh, my word. Right. Look at that. Mm. Oh, I'm getting something else. Oh, I'm going to have to have a look at those ingredients. That's really nice and refreshing, but do you know what? I'm getting like a musk, like a fragrant musk scent to it. Very, very nice indeed, and it feels really good. Here you go. Men care, sensitive balm. I think that was a pound from the pound shop. Go figure. Go figure. The balm, the balm from the pound shop was a pound. Oh, and that's it. That's our shoe. Do you know what? That goes really, really well together. That's okay. I've not had a shower yet. I personally like to shower after I've had a shave. I love the feel of the warm water running over my freshly shaved face. Absolutely wonderful. And there you go. That's us guys. Well, gingerbread, tea, shave. I'm gonna go and upload this and then I'm gonna have a shower. Thank you to everybody for all the views, all the likes and all the comments. You guys out there really do support this channel absolutely wonderfully. And I do try my best. It's difficult, you know, twice a week to come in here for half an hour. Twice a week and think of something to talk about and think of something that you guys will find interesting. I try my best. And I know you appreciate it because your likes and your comments and your views every week, week in, week out, really do keep me going. Thank you very much. Look after yourselves, guys. And look after each other. And remember, in a cold, dark world, and it is a cold, dark world, we can shine as illuminators and brighten someone's day. Look after yourself, and I will see you on Saturday, surprisingly enough, for the Saturday shave. Bye.